Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So I know it's been a while since I've done a review, and let me tell you, life has been crazy. Um, I'm going to try to do a November perfume talk and kind of update everybody on what's been going on, but that's a different story. So here's my first review in a very, very long time, and I'm very proud to be bringing you guys my personal review for Beyonce's Heat Kissed. So this perfume launched this year, 2015, and is the sixth flanker and seventh edition or seventh uh, heat in the line of Beyonce heat fragrances. Um, this one, when they announced it, was described as that magical spark between two people when their leap lips meet for the first time. A spark is ignited and he kissed. Um, so the box this time is that same gold Beyonce heat that we have on the front with the word kissed underneath it. Says Eau de Parfum Spray Natural or Vaporizer Natural Spray 100 milliliters 3.4 ounce. And it's got this big kiss on the front of the box that carries over to both sides. And I actually saw, I'm not sure where I saw it at, but I saw a picture of this box and then they had two boxes on their sides next to it. And then it like fulfilled out the kiss. It looked really, really cool. Um, and I might get two more boxes just to fulfill the kiss out because it's like a that's almost like you can almost kind of see when I do it like that that's cool anyway so this is probably my second favorite Beyonce fragrance um I feel like uh, Wild Orchid will always be one of my favorites unless she comes out with something completely different that blows me out of the water but this is probably one of my favorite Beyonce fragrances um the box I already did that and then the bottle looks like this it is um this is kind of red light lighter red up here and it goes down to almost a black blood red on the bottom which i don't know if you guys can see how like it's super dark red like i could do this um so like it's super duper duper dark red throughout the whole entire bottle which i think is really really cool um still got that same beyonce on the front here with heat on the back and then it's got the signature Beyonce B on top. So the notes for this one are lychee mango pitatea. I cannot say that. It's dragon fruit. Um, heart includes red fury oak, red fury orchid. I cannot talk today. Red fury orchid, sandback jasmine, and Moroccan rose oil. The base is woody notes, exotic sandalwood, patchouli combined with a vanilla infusion. Um, I really, really do like this one. Um, I had heard that it was similar to um, Wild Orchid, and I could see that, but I don't think so at the same time. So when you first spray it, you do get the patchouli, which I was kind of dreading, um, but this is one of the few fragrances that I do like the patchouli in. Um, first initial spray, you definitely get that lychee, the mango, the dragon fruit kind of adds a little bit of a juiciness to it. But dragon fruit is one of those fruits that doesn't really have a smell, so it's kind of just made up to whatever it is. Um, it quickly dries down to the heart, though. Um, you definitely get that jasmine, you definitely get the rose oil. It is a very floral heart, um, but it's very heat. It's very tropical, it's very warm, um... It's hard to describe exactly what I mean, but it's very, very warm. It's a very warm floral, and it's not, like, sickening, um, uh, overpowering. Um, when it gets down to the base, the vanilla infusion comes out more. I do smell it in the first spray, um, but then some of the fruits kind of take over, and that brings itself back. Um, and it mixes really well with that patchouli and the sandalwood, which makes, I think, what makes it so I can like it. Very rarely do you get vanilla put into a base, and when it is, it does kind of... Uh, round out the fragrance and with it being with that patchouli it definitely does help out um tone down the patchouli and i you guys know i cannot stand patchouli but i do really like it in this fragrance um the one thing i do find really funny about this fragrance is the ad for this fragrance is actually from a 2007 magazine shoot and i remember when the ad first got released a lot of people said oh my god that's so like um Mrs. Sasha Fierce era, 
and this is why. So here's an, a side-by-side -side comparison of the ads. So on the left-hand side, we have the actual Beyonce Heat. Sorry about that. So my memory card got full and had to delete something. So anyway, the ads are super similar. Like I said, the, left, the one on the left-hand side is the official Beyonce Heat ad. The one is from 2007. I believe it's from either Glamour or GQ magazine. I'm not 100% positive on that. But all they basically did was kind of cocked the picture to the left, cropped it out, redid her makeup, really didn't do redo her hair, and they kind of changed the background color a little bit. So, it is an older ad. I do like that it is a new ad, but I don't like that they recycled an image from something that we thought, you know, they thought we forgot about. So, anyway... Overall, lasting power on Beyonce's heat kiss, I get about 8 to 9 hours on it, which is normal with all the heats. Um, they do last quite a long time. Definitely good for the more uh, late summer, early fall, maybe throughout fall. Um, it could be a winter fragrance at the same time, depending on what notes stick out with you. But with me, I would definitely wear this in the more like late summer nights and fall. Um... Sillage, it does project pretty far. I wore this a couple times to work, and I did, definitely did get some compliments on it, so there's that. So, there you guys go. There is my review of Beyonce's Heat Kiss. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, I'm on the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below, like always. And please, please, please comment down below um, reviews you guys want me to do. I'm definitely going to try to get up some more reviews for you guys. So, thanks so, so much for watching, guys. Bye.